Morning everyone, today we'll be talking about the contact process and all the steps involved in it. So the contact process is to produce sulfuric acid. Because sulfuric acid is very useful to us in the sense that it can be used to pr um, produce a lot of things like detergent, um, paint and so on. All right, so let's talk about the steps. Uh, there are four steps involved. So the first step, sulfur is burned in air to produce sulfur dioxide. Now the next step is the most complicated step. We're going to take sulfur dioxide and then further react it with oxygen to give us sulfur trioxide. Now you're going to notice that this is a reversible reaction, which means that it will achieve and equilibrium. So there's a few conditions to this reaction. The first thing is the catalyst. We're going to use vanadium 5 oxide, V2O5 as a catalyst. And the catalyst is just to make sure the equilibrium is reached faster. The next one is the temperature and we're going to try to use a temperature of 450 degrees. Now uh, why we're using 450 is because the forward reaction is exothermic. So ideally we would use a lower temperature so that we favor the forward reaction more so we can produce more sulfur trioxide. But if the temperature is too low our reaction is going to be slow as well. So we're going to use the optimum temperature of 450. And last but not least is the pressure. So uh, the pressure, if you look at this equation, the left side has more molecules than the right side. So a high pressure would actually favor the forward reaction. But uh, this reaction, it's already having a very good yield at um, your normal atmospheric pressure or 1 to 2 atm. So that's why we don't have to use uh, too high a pressure because high pressure comes at a higher cost for maintenance as well. Alright, so moving on to the third step. I'm going to use concentrated sulfuric acid and react it with sulfur trioxide to produce this product. H2S2O7 known as oleum. This is like an intermediate step because sulfur trioxide can actually react with water to produce sulfuric acid as well but this reaction is not used at all because it's very violent and the sulfuric acid produced is in a mist form so it's very difficult to collect as well. Alright, so moving on to the final step, the oleum that we got from step 3 will be added to water and that would give me sulfuric acid. So those are the steps for the contact process. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment on the video.